Yep, look at this. All closed. Everything down there. Yeah. yeah. Nothing, it's nothing positive anymore, you know. I've seen many, many arcades with closed down shops, but I've never seen a mouldy one before. That's the first. When William the Conqueror overran England, one of his projects was to create the Doomsday Book, which was notes on all the towns and villages in England. And this was in 1086. And what he said of Huddersfield then, Udersfeld, he just said, it is waste. So not good first impressions of Huddersfield. And as I've arrived today, about a thousand years later, also not good impressions. Parking was an absolute nightmare. I've literally been driving around for the best part of an hour. The ring road around Huddersfield is a nightmare. Trying to get into the actual town to park, un unbelievable. I've had to park about a mile outside of town. Honestly, I'm absolutely raging. I know exactly what William the Conqueror was on about. So welcome back to another episode of The Death of the High Street. And yeah, you've got it. We are in Huddersfield. And I wasn't even gonna have the focus of this episode as parking, but seeing as though I've just gone through that horrible experience, it'll be an episode where we can really delve into just how annoying parking is for trying to keep a town centre alive or a village. It's the same as when I worked in this little pizza shop in the small village where I live. The parking wardens were out until 8 p.m. at night. That was when you had to have a ticket for. Luckily, I live in the town, so it's not too hard for me, but people who were driving in and working until, we were working until 11 p.m. at night, they were having to pay up until 8 p.m. to work in the town. Oh, it's shocking. Anyway, there'll be plenty of time to rant in this video. The town centre is just over there, so let's get into Huddersfield, see what the state of the high street's like, have a wander around, and yeah, who knows what we'll come across. It's got a very interesting history, Huddersfield, so we'll talk about that as well. So here we are at the top of Huddersfield town. Let's have a little wander around, see what we find. So there's the bus station, just there. Summit here. So just the one up there on that bus station. Really unattractive bus station though, with just the one to let. Let's walk down this way, see what we come across. So what we got here, this is... Yeah, so this building here that seems like there's some work going on in it, and it says, it's going to be luxury student accommodation. Now, Huddersfield, and from what I've heard from everyone who's told me about Huddersfield, it's just turned entirely into a student town. That's it, the university is here, everything's catered towards the students. Everything that's empty is just becoming student housing. Seems like that's going on there. Yeah, I mean, obviously at my age, I've seen a lot of changes, you know. Yeah. And well, obviously all downhill, you know. Yeah, oh really? Everything downhill. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. It's nothing positive anymore, you know. Uh, I don't know what it is, people don't care anymore. Yeah. People's attitudes have changed, you know. Yeah. People don't care about surroundings. Yeah. People don't look after things. Yeah. People throw rubbish about. People just don't bother. Online shopping. Fair enough, I do that. That is part of progress, you know. So, I mean, it's not the shops, what's the problem? Even what shops we've got on there, it looks mm. a mess, you know, you've only got to like look over there. And, I mean, it's just awful, I mean, it doesn't even look nice. Yeah. You know. Big unit on the end here. Oh, wow, that's massive. Wonder what this was. Huge space there. Look at that. So, yeah, all oh, that giant building there. That's to let, what's that? 6,000 square feet. Wow. So it turns out over 50% of you are watching my videos via the TV, which is absolutely ace. You've chosen me over summer on the mainstream. However, it might mean that you're not subscribed like my auntie wasn't. She said, how do I subscribe? I said, click the button. She's like, I watch on my TV. Well, this is how you can do it. There's a QR code gonna be on the screen here. If you scan that with your camera phone, it'll take you through to a place where you can if you want to. Helps me, it'll keep you up to date. Nice one. I saw an arcade down this way. Let's go have a little explore down the arcade. See what's going on in there. The old market used to be 
further downtown that that got pulled down. A lot of change, a lot of change. A lot of new buildings, as I said, with students moved in over. Yeah, yeah. Even more so, it must be five years. What accommodation that's built all over this field now. Yeah. So, Queen's Gate Market Way, that's that's due to be flattened, isn't it? And probably make some more student buildings. The library's closing as well, so and that's moving up to the Civic Centre. Oh, is it? A lot of pubs have closed down. Oh, God, no, they're, they're made into some other uh, accommodation. Well, I'm 66 now, I haven't won for more for changes. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. No, they did the same house since I got married, so I don't think there'll be any change for me for the rest of my life. Look, on the lot, and just have a couple of pints for me, brother, inside here. Handmade in Huddersfield, locally produced. Gifts and art, that's ace. Lovely to see. And just down at the bottom, one to let there. I was expecting way more from that. I thought more would be closed, but no, there was just the one in there. And it all looked like interesting independent stuff. Good on you, Huddersfield. No, you got something closed over there. What's that? You got your big butchers there, fruit and veg store over there. I can't believe it, there's literally nothing cl oh no, yeah, there we go, I always do this and then I see something, but honestly pleasantly surprised with this bit, but then you got Wilco's here, the giant Wilco's, which is, yeah, well it's massive, look at this. Huge, so it starts all the way down there, goes all that way, all that way, wow. That is the biggest Wilco's I've ever seen. And then here, at the end of this bit, it's all good down there. Here, one to let. Yeah, one closed there. Yeah, and then a couple closed at the top. But So the interesting thing about Huddersfield was, for hundreds of years, it was owned by one family all the real estate here all the property all the land was owned by the ramsdens they really really were the greedy landlords who just had full control and by 1920 people had got fed up of this they didn't like that everything was owned by this one family so the town fought back they campaigned and they actually managed to pull it off the town bought itself from this family from the ramsdens yeah because then the people had control over how much rents were places now would not have rent going up every year it was really good for that housing was made affordable housing was built or the houses which were already in the area became affordable and became for the people it really was massive a huge huge thing it's like going up now against i don't know the black rock the giants of the the corporate landlord world huddersfield fought back and won so yeah it was only a hundred years ago when the people of huddersfield got the town back it became theirs they could do anything they had control so how does, in a hundred years, a town lose that control? It's crazy, isn't it? Because places would literally dream of having that power now, having all the buildings, having all the access to things, having rent control, actual affordable housing. It only takes a hundred years and it ends up the same as everywhere else, everywhere else that didn't get to buy their own town. I momentarily forgot about all my parking rage which was good, I'm glad I forgot about it, but I'm back, I need to bring it back up. So the thing as well with, with all these towns where you've pedestrianized everything, you've made it incredibly hard just to drive near it, let alone park into it. If you're a business owner, if you're someone who needs to get your car outside your shop, that is literally just impossible in a lot of places now. It's so off-putting, isn't it? With anything, what are you doing, greengrocers? You own a, I don't know, shoe shop anything just trying to get your car near that shop now is so impossible charity shop there looks like it's shut down now that's interesting because normally you see a lot of charity shops springing up hey mate you all right I am the turnip, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that nice fellow there who watched my videos just stopped and said that I've got to go check out the plaza down by the library, which I'll do. But what I was just saying about charity shops is normally you see them springing up, 
But my theory is, with all these things that have come about, like your Depop, your Vinted, all these uh, second-hand shopping stores, which really have boomed with the younger generation, everyone shops on them. I shop them. I got this jacket from Vinted. This would have cost about 200 quid. I got it for 50 quid. And it's this place where, instead of people taking clothes down to the charity shop like they used to do, what they do is they go, ah, oh, well, I'll chuck it online now. Maybe not everything's worth 50 quid, but, say, a pair of jeans that could have just been taken to the charity shop, they're popping on Vinted, selling for a fiver, T-shirts, selling for a couple of quid. That whole market, which was ended up in the charity shops, now just goes on these second-hand stores. So, yeah, not good for the charity shops. And this must be the plaza that that fellow was just telling me about, with everything that's shut down. Right, yeah, okay. Oh, no, this is the piazza. Well, everything looks shut down on this one. Is that the plaza down there? Oh no, they're both the piazza. That must be what the person was saying. Let's have a little wander down as well. See what the state of it is. Look at this though, yeah. Everything shut. Behind this fence, I wonder what they're doing. That one's open there, look at that. Yep, look at this. All closed. Every single one going round. Uh, oh, that, is that open? It still looks closed. Yes, that guy was right on this piazza bit going round here. Every single shop completely closed. Nothing open. Yeah. Huge one there on the end. What's this? The shambles. How fitting. It is a shamble, isn't it? Coming over here, what were this? Oh, peacocks. This store's now closed. Right, let's walk back down the shambles, see what's going on there. So yeah, that coffee cali on the end there, shut. It's all shut. Apart from boots. And through there looks like it'd be the whole indoor section of the piazza. All closed, all gone. Big one on the end there, empty. Closed. Shop that I like to see open. Alice's Kitchen and Hardware. Love it. Look at that as well. Look at that mold. I've seen many, many arcades with closed down shops, but I've never seen a mouldy one before. That's a first. Surely that's quite an easy problem to sort. You don't want to put people off coming in, do you? But, oh well. How much have you seen it change then, this town? Massively. Yeah? I've been a, a, a boom town and the dump that it is today. The dump that it is today, really? So. Well, it's gone downhill. It gives me no pleasure to say that. Really? How it's run, how it looks, the yeah. inefficiencies that I've seen. Yeah. The constant repair, still suspension on my car because the bottles in the roads. I'm glad, I thought you were going to ask me for a direct debit to end, didn't I? <laughs> no, mate, no, none of that. I'm just genuinely interested for people who live here. Top man, see you later. Ryan's closed down. Uniform shop there as well. Another one there. Another one there. The architecture of Huddersfield, though, is absolutely amazing grown from the wealth, from the industrial mills. Now, the issue that Huddersfield has was it's not easily connected like a lot of the other towns were when the Leeds-Liverpool Canal opened up. You could join them quite easily. Now, Huddersfield's location, when you drive into it, you have to go through a tunnel. So they had to dig giant tunnels just to connect everything, be that the railway, be that the canal, the roads, which meant that it had a bit of a late start to the Industrial Revolution. But yeah, as soon as it was connected up, it just had that incredible growth. And that's when the Ramsdens were owning 
in it. And they did do a lot for the town, for the town's growth. But then, yeah, got it back into the hands of the people. And we've got a chimney over there. Should we go have a look? So here we go. And what I really, really don't like about it, they've got loads of bloody electrical equipment on it. That's no fun. I reckon about a four out of 10, that one. Not big enough, not aged weathered enough. And I hate the electrical stuff on it. Hopefully we'll find another one. Hopefully we might come across another chimney to fulfill my needs. Look what's doing well, Kirkley's guns. Check it out. That uh, seems appropriate to talk about something else about Huddersfield, which to be honest, is probably the reason why I've not actually visited it. I've not actually visited it that much, if at all really. I think I've probably been to Huddersfield in my life about twice, and I only live about half an hour away. But it's got a terrible, terrible reputation. It really does. It's, its reputation precedes it. You hear about gun crime. There's a bloody gun shop there. But you hear about knife crime, gang violence. All this has been going on for years and years. Since I was a kid growing up, we always knew that Huddersfield had this, this scary reputation, which is just off-putting, clearly. On a conscious level or a subconscious level, I haven't visited Huddersfield. But yeah, for a very beautiful, aesthetic town, with its buildings, the houses on the way out, they all surround Huddersfield. They are gorgeous, they're massive, stunning. For this beautiful town, it's got a bad reputation. So how does a place sort that? How does a place solve that, that issue? I think I might have just found the old market though. Oh yeah, this looks ace. Oh, this is a proper market. Look at this. Look at this, market doing great. Wow, this is awesome. Lovely, busy market, loads of stuff open. This is grand. Yeah, let's get four of them. And uh, you got the apples? Yeah, so brilliant market there. Look at that, for an apple. Granny Smith, look at the size of that bad boy. Whoa. Quick word from the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is apples. Um, dead cheap, mega nice, go have one. Proper good. And close to any town centre now. You get a massive Tesco or a Sainsbury's or a Morrison's. We saw that huge one in Slough. It was like the biggest Tesco in Europe or something. And yeah, that being so close to the town centre, it's literally in the ring road. It's in the ring road going round. Of course, that is soaking up a load of the trade. There's probably a car park here where you can park for half an hour for free. We got a chilly lounge that shut down. I mean, it is an absolutely stunning. Oh, we got another chimney. Hey. Right, one minute, I'll show you this first. Look at that. Lovely, lovely bit of building there. Stunning. But over here, we got a chimney on the side of the mill. Again, it's not a massive one. It's not huge, but it's a chimney. Look at that. It would be nice to find a massive one though, wouldn't it? A proper big chimney. Maybe we will. And a vinyl shop, look at this. Class vinyl tap records, buzzing. That's good to see. Against all the odds, vinyl came back. Uh, unfortunately, Wallace Arnold Travel could not survive. And another one there as well. Schoolwear specialist there closed down. It used to be such an occasion, didn't it, to go get your school uniform. Now all done online, I assume. So we got something else there. Closed, but look at this. Look at all these food vendors out. This is great. All them food vendors out there, which was ace to see. And you got all these cool crafts and stuff out. This is cool. I wonder if this is a permanent feature or if this is just a, a momentary thing, a temporary thing to have, but it's always funny when I see stuff like this where you've got, you got all these shops shut around on the streets and then you've got all these people trading. It just makes you think people do want to trade, don't they? They want to trade in some capacity. They're just going to do it in what's affordable. Brick and mortar ain't affordable anymore. 
but this stuff is. Everything's just lower, they can do it. Found another market up here, so let's go have a look at Queensgate Market. Oh. Queensgate Market, the site is now closed. That's a shame. Oh well. Um, let's have a look down this way. So, whilst we might not be able to get into that other market, I have just noticed down there what looks like a big old chimney. This could be the one we're after. The one that's going to do it. Oh, just looking, look above these buildings over there. Can you see that? It might be the chimney for me. Who knows? Excuse me, mate. Do you know if you can get cl any closer to the chimney? Oh, you're not. Jeez, it's hard to get to. The town's not realised that the reason a lot of the population, and not just me, comes to visit areas is to look at chimneys. All these problems would be solved. Let me get to the chimneys. It's not happening. It's not happening. Can't get to it. Unbelievable. But there is one over there. Look at this one. Should we see if we can get to that one? I've got to see one that's decent today. Oh. There we go. That's what we were after. How hard was that? So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. A massive one. One that you can come up and touch. Wonder when this was built. You don't know when this was built, do you? Exactly, mate, right no. <laughs> uh, here's a good one, though. It's got a fancy little top on that one, which is quite nice to see. Look at this here. This had to be a pub, I reckon. Oh, yeah, Sky Sports. Obviously, the remnants of a pub. Something else here as well, gone. What's Huddersfield like to live in then? Horrible. Really? Yeah. Why? There's nothing fun to do. Nothing fun to do? Yeah. And look at these fat little chimneys. Never seen some like this before. What on earth? There's two of them. There's one there and one here. What are these? They look like brick cooling towers more than actual chimneys. i got to find out what these are. So this is well interesting. You know at the start I said because of Huddersfield's awkward location it's connected everywhere by tunnels be it the road, the canal, the railway. Well these are air shafts that go down to the railway line I guess just to keep airflow going through there. That's mad, that's well interesting. So there we go, a really interesting day looking around Huddersfield and yeah it's got a lot of empty shops like everywhere does nowadays but it was really interesting chatting to those folk as well who remember it different and I think the general consensus of this place is it's just it's changed so much for the bad for so many different reasons and that one interesting quote that guy said just about how people just don't have pride in things anymore and I saw it the other day when I was filming in Leeds I think it was these lads just walking down the street just tossing rubbish onto the street and then just striding off. It's like the disposable generation who face no repercussions. And it's just little things, isn't it, that build up an area. It's not just the high street. Closed shops, that's one thing. But it's also people's feelings, attitudes, values towards the high street and the place that make, make a, a place still worth visiting. It was nice to see those chimneys, that was good fun. It was cool to see that market, I got some food on that pop-up market, really, really good. Shows that vendors do want to sell, people do still want to be there trading. And what did William the Conqueror say in 1086 when he came? He said, it is waste about Huddersfield. Now I wouldn't go that far, unless we're talking about parking, and then he was absolutely spot on. And I think that's what he was on about, because I've, uh, I've got no idea where my car is. And uh, yeah, well, we might be stuck here, so hopefully we'll make it home. Cheers for watching anyway. Bye-bye.